Hey guys, welcome to the 72nd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to download a file using the web client class. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, a save file dialog, an if statement, making sure that the user actually selects the location using the save file dialog, a web client, and you're going to need to be using the system.net namespace so that we can use our web client class. So in the previous tutorial, we looked at downloading a string. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to download a file. And just like in the previous tutorial, you're going to need to be using this uh, webs.com. Unless, of course, you have your own web hosting, then you can use that. And right here, we have two files. We have this big file and this status. And we're going to be downloading the status text file first. So we're going to have to get the URL of this. And in order to do that, we're just going to go ahead and click on the file. And we get the URL right here. And in order to download a file, you're going to need to have the direct link or the direct URL to it. So you just keep that in mind. So just copy this URL right here so we can download it. And now we're going to use the um, download file async method. So we're going to do download file async. And download file async will basically run this method in the background so that we don't have to um, have our application freeze or thread it. So it just basically threads it for you. So right here it calls for a URI, so we're just going to do new URI, and that's just basically a URL. And inside of here we're just going to paste um, the URL, so we're just going to do that, which is the link to our file. And the second method, or the second parameter that this method calls for is a file name, or the path to where we want to save the file or download the file to. And that's what the save file dialog is for, so we're going to just do sfd.filename. And it will just download the file to wherever the user selects in the save file dialog. So now when we debug here and click download file, we should get a save file dialog. We're just going to download the file into this test folder. I'll just call it status.txt. And now when I click save, it should download the file into this test folder. Yep, now we now have this status text file. Open it, and it says exactly what it says on right here. Alright, so now if you wanted to have a message box be displayed after the file is finished downloading, you couldn't just have a message box right here, because since this is a, a sync, it'll um, start this method and then continue on with the code below it. So we're going to have to use an event, and thank god there is an event in the web client class, so we can just do wc dot um, download file completed and this is this event will be triggered when um, the download is complete so then we do plus equals and just click tab twice right here and it will just create um, a method for us when the download file is completed and now we'll just have a message box be displayed when the file is completely downloaded and we'll just have it say file is downloaded So now when our file is done downloading, we should get a message box saying, file is downloaded. I'll just call it something else, call it f.txt, click save, and we should get a message box when the file is finished downloading. Yep, file is downloaded. Um, the last thing that I'm going to be showing you is how to get the progress of your download. And there's another method inside of the web client class called um, download progress change. And this will um, be triggered every time that the uh, progress has changed. It's pretty obvious it's the name of the uh, event, but yeah, that, it'll just be triggered every time that the progress has changed. So we're going to have um, a label, and it will tell you the progress of the download. So we're just going to do label right here, and we'll just say that the text is, we'll say progress. Um, and then, um, then plus the progress. And in order to get the progress, we can use this um, download progress changed event args class. And so we can just do e dot pro our progress percentage. It has a property in it. So it'll just um, get how much the file is downloaded in a percent. So if it's like 50% downloaded, it'll just this will return 50. So it'll be progress, and it'll say 50. So now when we um, 
click download file, the progress should change as the file is being downloaded. So I'll just call it like status1.txt. Let's click save. Now it went really fast so you couldn't really see it, but if we were to download the bigger file, and that's what the big file is for, then we should be able to see the progress change. So now I'm going to download the big file. I'll just call it big file and click save. We should see the progress change. And yep, there's the progress going up. So yep, and then we get our message box at the end saying the file is downloaded. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on downloading files using the web client class. So see you guys.